annoyingly we had a sh oh, just a bit of rain last night overnight the hay fields were nearly ready we were hoping to go bailing today there was no rain in the forecast last night we caught more than we like it would like you know uh, we've just been over to the fields it's, it's pretty damp over there it's wet underneath and damp on top so whether we actually get bailing today is uh it's a big ass it's gonna knock the quality as well so that's another annoyance we're just uh while we're waiting for it to dry we're gonna go and do some deliveries We've got some other jobs to do. We've got to get panels up in this shed here. Combine needs to be washed off at some point. Uh, grain store still needs to be cleaned out. There's still plenty of wet day jobs. And we've got to go and get the bulls in as well at some point. So still got plenty of wet day jobs. They, they don't reckon this weather's going to change until well into August. So we've got another 10 days of this showery weather at least. But by then the combine will be out. Keezy's going to get us loaded up anyway. Dave went topping last night, did a big, another chunk of topping, so that saved me a job anyway. Going to get very, very busy for the next 12 weeks. <laughs> well, probably longer than that. But that's just the way it is. That's the way it is this year. Every year's different. It would be boring if it was all the same. Don't know if the camera picks that up, but look at the quality of that Timothy. This is last year's yeah last year's timothy absolutely made it really well beautiful sunshine at the time nice and young as well just really nice stuff not got much not got a great deal of that left we were hoping we were going to be here bailing this but unfortunately the weather had better ideas last night and decided to dump a load of rain on us it wasn't um was it a crazy amount of rain and it didn't rain for a long time. It was just enough to soak the hay, basically. Hey oh, that's the British weather. That's what we are uh, got to contend with. But now we've got to dry it back out again. So we've left it. You don't want to go straight into the field and turn wet underneath, because then you'll never dry in anything. So you want to always basically get to the field. If it's dry on top, you know, you're pretty safe to tend then. You don't want to be turning the wet underneath. Me and Farmer have just gone out uh, we're going to turn it over. I doubt very much that we're going to be able to hay make this today. It is just, just fractionally too wet. So, it's another day of drying and praying that we don't catch a shower overnight. It's meadow, it is looking like a better day tomorrow, but they did say that yesterday, so there's no telling. You know, there are showers predicted for all days this week. The button but this grass it hasn't really affected it too much this isn't the best grass this is going to be round bales this particular field the ones over the way are a little bit better nicer grass this is a very wet field uh, if you have a wet winter this one is pretty much always flooded so uh, where you have flooded water you always have reeds docks and thistles and stuff like that but still plenty good enough to round bale up for cows and I, I still think it's pretty good quality out there actually it's you usually get a good horrible rain on it it depends how much rain you get and how fast it dries again but you you know it usually taints the color a little bit and goes brown it has affected it a little bit i can see it as it's not as green as it was but it's still plenty good enough to uh to warrant doing apparently the um the 8S is going to be coming back. They found what the problem with with the brakes, and they did say to us, to be fair, the Agco people did say that some went out. Uh, the, some of the very first ones that went out, um, uh, basically, the, something to do with the brakes. The way they were fitted, they were fitted both back to front. They had separate people on each side. One was doing it one way, and one was doing it another, and they didn't line up. And these uh, the, the, these brakes were meant to line up a special way to let oil flow through, and uh, that's they, they did find that was the uh, was the problem. So yes, it's going to be come it's going to be coming back. Uh, they want that tractor back of theirs. Uh, <laughs> that thing needs a service. That, the service light came up on that. Literally the day we had it, service light came up on it. And yeah, just one of those things and it services. Supposed to be load of service updates done to it. The uh, the brake pedal with the derating is supposed to be fixed. There was a panel on the side where the exhaust went and that had all faded away and they were gonna replace that. Whether they've 
we'll see when it comes back we'll see what they've done and uh, Keithy will use it and we'll um, yeah the uh, the other thing was the GPS wasn't tracking square you know you kept having to put an offset in to make it track square uh, so uh, whether they've looked at everything for us I don't know but um, the brakes were the most important thing to be fixed on that and that and the gearbox as well so new software going on the gearbox so yes well we'll have a look when it comes back we'll have a look um, I think Agco want to look at the tractor before it comes back to us so they're going to be uh, inspecting it over and making sure it's right so that's a good thing we, we got there in the end with it we just had to wait a long time for, any, for something to be done so we'll see how it goes and um, yeah you know we've we've really liked the tractor we really like the way it looks well i do i like the way it looks and I, I like the cab and the new layout and everything the brakes were the main one they were damn near vicious and damn we, we thought they were dangerous you know. but uh they were supposed to be inspecting the gearbox oil and making sure there was no damage to the gearbox as well so we'll just see four o'clock me and keithy have been telling all day we're um we've, we've been over the fields once this one's on its second time over. This is um, one of Jim's fields. It's actually, it, w it wasn't cut first, it was cut second, but for some reason it's the one that's closest and it's the one we're gonna try tonight. We're gonna have a go at bailing. If it has another shower on it, it'll just, um, it'll ruin it. So we're gonna have a little go and see if the balers will go and uh, we'll get it in the shed and we'll give it a good blow and it, it should be fine, you know, it's, it is 99% there just give us a bit more time tomorrow to uh, get some of the other fields in as well so but it looks lovely stuff even though it's had a rain on it it's still pretty nice stuff it's it's quite a nice color it's um it's just a little bit cold it just wants the sun on there you know wants heating up but um hey we're gonna have a go so uh me and keith are gonna keep ted in and then uh, we'll pick some trailers up later on it'll only take them two hours i'd have thought with two balers uh, the rake's just coming in now, I can see. So Uncle Franklin, I imagine, be here. Uh, Carl be here. I don't know who's that on the other baler, but we, uh, me and Keithy are gonna just get these other fields. The other fields are just, they're just too damp to even consider for today. So we just wanna make sure that they're dry for tomorrow. Uh, I wanna pull this up. But this one looks the closest. This one looks, uh, yeah, they're gonna have a go with it. So we'll see. Later on we'll have a look at the bales and see what they're like. But um, you know the dust is flying out here so that's a good sign. So farmer's got himself organised. He was quite happy with one of the fields. It was, um, to be fair, it weren't far away but yeah, got, got organised. I think he's got three balers up there going and um, yeah, if you want to uh, if you want to clear a field quickly, the only way is to um, have more machines there. So I think he's got Edward from up the road. He's he's a local contractor to us. He's got an Arkson packer, so it's the same as what we do. And uh, he's got this quite cool contraption uh, on the front of his. He's got a sort of a self-propelled rower, self with a baler. I'll show you when we get there. It's um, basically it rows its own row and he bales his own bales on a year like this year. You know you've got to get what you can get so yeah farmer uh, sort of got organized quickly it was five o'clock before they made a start uh, there'll only be 1500 bales but it's just 1500 in the dry done and yeah you know hopefully there'll be a bit more ready tomorrow and it'll be a bit better day so we'll start a new video tomorrow i'll show you these machines going quickly it won't be a late night it won't it won't take long to finish it it comes on franklin I doubt you see very much with that bright sunshine and the dirty windows. There's Uncle Franklin, all finished. Always miss him because he's always first in and, la and first out. So by the time we always get there, he's always been and gone. Yeah, well, we got the drone with us. So uh, let's see if we can get some nice footage for you.
show you what's going on before they finish they're nearly done yeah but we uh we wanted to get this field done in a hurry we started late five o'clock maybe 1500 bales by the time they're done we got a local um a local contractor edward you've seen him before you he's got an arkison same as ours slightly different but they're almost done they've only got a few more rows edward's got his own setup when he comes back up i'll show you that He's got a, um, I don't know what, who makes that one? We'll have a little look at it when it comes. Have a little feel of the bales. They ain't too bad. They'll be all right. Farmer will put the fan on them. And that'll keep them right. Good sized bales. They're all matching up pretty well. So yeah, I've done all right there. There's young Robert, this is Edward's son. Same as ours, but a little. But the uh, pickups on the other side. Here's Barry. You seen Barry before? Barry come and helped us during harvest last year and ran a grain trailer for a few days for us. Dust is flying. That's always a good sign. as usual well, I'll just show you the uh, he hasn't got it running because uh, obviously Uncle Franklin done up all the rows but uh, Edward can come on his own to any field and row his own up and bale and pack and quite on occasion he will do that for us he might be with us tomorrow I don't know we got a little bit to do tomorrow and then we got a little bit to do Friday before the rain again on Saturday the windows are very short, there are showers about here, there and everywhere. 
It wasn't meant to rain last night and that absolutely chucked it down. But we still managed to get it ready. There goes Carl. Look at this thing. A little roller in the middle, look. The roller pushes it down. So the house and dodge on the tractor. It doesn't catch on anything. And then a Massey 1840 baler. tension on that. Hours are a little bit tighter but never here or there. But uh, that, that rower on the front spreads out and he can row his own rows and bale them at the same time. It's pretty good stuff. Cows are next door. They don't like the drone too much. They start running. So I don't like to take, uh, I don't like to get too close. Farmer wants me to bring his trailer over. We'll take this one home. This is the one ready. Imagine we might get them on this trailer, we might need one more. Right, Colin's just rebaling a bale that's burst. You always have it, you have one or two bales at an end of a field that might burst where the packers pick them up or something doesn't go right or the bale didn't bale them right or bale them without strings or something or other. I'm gonna drop this trailer here for farmer. That's going to be it for the video. We're just going home. Uh, Jordan's coming back. He'll pick up that last load. Uh, there goes Edward with his uh, thing. I don't know what it's called. I, I actually don't know what it's called, but it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing when it's going. We'll see it another day, I'm sure. Linda and uh, Edward's son will pack up the uh, last few rows there. And um, yeah, it's been a pretty good afternoon actually. The sun came up pretty nice. As soon as that sun comes out, that is all the difference. And uh, that was a bit of a last minute.com ordeal because we didn't think it would go after the, uh, after the rain this morning, but we ran through it twice with the tedders and a uh, little bit of sunshine and that, that makes all the difference. So there we go. We're, uh, we'll start a new video tomorrow. We're hoping to do more hay. We've got more hay down and it should be ready for tomorrow so long as it doesn't rain so we will see we will just see how that goes because it wasn't going to rain last night we were hoping to do a lot more today but we didn't never got to it the other stuff is still just damp still so uh we're hoping to have that dry for tomorrow um we've run through the run through everything with the tedders twice so we'll see what tomorrow brings and um yeah we'll catch you on the next one cheers